going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello, welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. It's a ministry show, so you don't want to miss it. Um, anything goes, although anything goes anyways with these shows. But the thing is, is... It's ministry, like we will be praying for the viewers or prophesying to the viewers. And so please share and uh, you may be just click into the channel. Oh, you don't want to go anywhere, okay? It's going to be a great one. Oh, and please remember to call the prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729. Um, always right here behind my head on this full shot and always periodically across the bottom of the screen. So if you didn't get it the first time, you'll see it over and over right here if you don't see it anywhere else, okay? And uh, I'm Charlene back to Mary, your God's View host. So glad you joined us. Get your favorite drink. Join us around the table. Like I say, sometimes you may be sitting on a beach somewhere on your tablet watching God's View. You could be exercising watching God's View. You could be in a store. And like I went into uh, Sam's one day and God's View was on every TV. And yes. so I had my husband take a picture. I've lost that picture somewhere Aww. it may be on my computer somewhere but so i said take a picture take a picture all these tvs That's and i'm awesome. standing there you know and so it's so you you may be who knows where and uh we get letters from prisoners and oh we're so grateful if, and i know you're watching god bless you in prison god bless mm. you we value every single letter you ever send and they're from different states so i know god has us in different prisons and oh we are so grateful for that we are so grateful that god would touch your life and you know right now i feel led and since we're doing a ministry show, you really ministered to us, the one who called. And I don't know what prison you called from, but you said, ma'am, I only have two minutes and I don't want prayer. I want to pray for you because you've touched my life in prison. That was so powerful. He took his last two minutes that he could have called anybody mm -hmm. and called us to thank us and pray for us. And that, that was one of the greatest things that has happened in the history of God's view and we are so thankful for that. Bless you. May God just do whatever is needed in your life to get you out and have a productive life and uh, just have great destiny and purpose because God does for you, okay? And uh, that it was just such, it was so sweet. I only got two minutes. And he goes, I don't need mm -hmm. prayer. I just want to thank you guys and pray for you. Isn't that great? Yes. And so, you know, yeah. you may be watching. Who, who knows? Like I said, in prison or anywhere. And, you know, we had a little boy call one night, and God's just doing this, so I'm letting it roll before I introduce this. A uh, little boy call one night, and he said, such in a sweet little voice, would you please pray for my mama? She's in the bed and won't come out. She's depressed. Oh. She's depressed. And, you know, it, it just breaks my heart. We've mm -hmm. had old, young, in-between prison prostitutes. I met with one and brought her a Bible. And, and you know, the, the things that we are allowed to be a part of. We are so grateful. And I am so honored that God would allow my husband and I to steward a show called God's View for such a time as this. We're honored. We we do not take it lightly because any time you could say next, if you get all, you know, haughty and think yeah. you're all that and bag of chips, you know, but so... I just wanted to give those because God knows who's tuning in and sometimes we only have a few seconds when somebody tunes in to listen and it grabs them. And so the Holy Spirit knows when to say something and we just have to be listening and have an ear in tune to the Spirit to stop and say what He wants because I don't have to be in a hurry to introduce us. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be in a hurry for anything because it's God. It's mm -hmm. His time. We're on his clock, <laughs> which is timeless, you know. And anyways, I'm Charlene Beth Demiria, your God's View host. Again, thank you for joining us. Stephanie Besh, Priscilla Pruitt, mm -hmm. and Stacy White sitting in for Lana. Mm -hmm. And we're so glad. Uh, really, we thank you, Stacy. You've been a blessing. Amazing. She's done a lot mm -hmm. of shows. Wonderful. And we're very grateful because when people uh, jump in that, you know, Stacy's, of course, um, hosted with us before. But, I mean, the first time I asked her, she it was like a couple days prior she 
sure. And she just came in with all, you know, and that's really, that's somebody who's really ready in and out of season for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because there's a lot of people say, oh, I don't know. I mean, oh my, they start panicking. And well, then, you know, don't do it. You know, if you, if you're that panicked and you don't think you can get ready, because that's a lot, it's a lot for, you know, when somebody calls you a day before and say, can you do 14 shows? I mean, that's a lot for anybody, and she said yes, and and uh, we had your friend Kate I, yes. again. She yes. was great, too, and yeah. said yes, and really cool, yes. because it is. It's a lot. I mean, you, you do want to have a meltdown, but then you say, okay, Holy <laughs> Spirit, you're in me. I've got word in me. I listen to your word. I may not have had time to study these topics, but you're going to flow through me, and I'll tell you, he is faithful. Amen. He comes Amen. through. He is faithful. He is. he is faithful. Yeah. You know, I'm going to start off with, you know, we did a show, I don't know, a few shows back and uh, on armor. Mm -hmm. On armor. Yes. And, you know, I had wrote uh, a couple notes right down here just because I really wanted to say this right now for this prophetic show that, you know, I, I watch, um, I <laughs> love it. Bless you. Bless I, you. I watch sometimes um, on my computer, I mean, on my my phone it looks like a little computer but i watch say yes to the dress have you ever seen uh -huh. that i love <laughs> that show yeah. it's so darling and say yes to the dress and i well i just fantasize with all those little brides because i never got to wear a wedding gown but oh. but the thing is is i love that and i'm happy for them and i just it just blesses me oh we're me. gonna fix that I your know. 50th is coming up we're gonna get oh my god <laughs> <laughs> done take care of i never <laughs> wore i never <laughs> wore a wedding gown right no, here. I, <laughs> I got married at the justice of peace I gotta have sleeves. Andy, oh, get girls, ready. I gotta have sleeves okay. off the shoulder, but sleeves. Yes. Okay, we're gonna go. Okay, look. yes to the dress. These yes. are my say yes to the dress. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with these girls. Hey, that'd be a great. Yeah, oh I never. Gosh. Yeah, but I always <laughs> since look at here, we're making plans right on the show. But that's okay. Look, that's you know, you, but I never did. We got married at the Justice of Peace, and I never had. To, I never got to have a wedding. I don't know why this is doing this, but I'm just leaving some on in case my granddaughter. Mm -hmm. You know, because I don't want to, sh I shut them all down yesterday and that was not good. So anyways, I watched Say Yes to the Dress, uh, yes, yes to the Dress, and this girl on here, and that's why, because I was watching it last night, this girl on there said, my wedding dress is my armor. Mm. Oh. But I say not. No. And here's why. Because your armor cannot be a dress. It cannot be oh, lipstick. No. It cannot be anything that makes you feel confident. Uh -uh. Because your armor, that, that's how the enemy comes in. We yeah. think we can dress great. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a counterfeit. We think we can dress great mm -hmm. if we wear lipstick mm -hmm. or some pretty jewelry. Hey, we're taking the focus. But that's not, that is not our armor. It, that's no. not our true confidence. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Yes. Those things cannot protect you. Mm -hmm. They may make you look good, God says feel good but they cannot protect you only the full armor of God which we we you know you put on the full armor of God is the breastplate of righteousness the shield of faith the helmet of salvation we gird up our loins with truth we shut our feet the preparation of peace and we take the sword yes. of the spirit which is word which quenches all the fiery darts of the enemy in other words that's what protects you that's what protects you. Uh -huh. And then we pray on all occasions in the spirit for all the saints. So that is the real armor of God right there in yes. Ephesians 6. And uh, there's this movie out. Now, I've never uh, watched it, but I've seen the um, uh, commercials. And this man puts on a suit. And when he puts on that suit, my God, that mm -hmm. suit, bullets ricochet off and he's this he's a superman guy and you know it shows his cane does all kinds of stuff but oh, when he puts yeah. this suit on yeah. he is protected that's his wow. armor but that's that's not true the armor is spiritual and it's it of is. god and so but it was it's really it's really bizarre just like you know you have all these matrixes you have all these things and you have all these people in movies and pretty soon we have our kids thinking you know they're playing around going phew, phew, i can do anything because you know they're pretending what, yeah. what the cartoon did but you know those things cannot train them we must and Amen. this is a prophetic word yes. and this is why i'm giving this to you 
the prophetic word is you cannot put your trust in anything but the real word of God, Jesus, the armor of God. And as parents, we cannot let our kids fantasize in the wrong way Amen. and grow up yeah. and allow that to be their armor. Yeah. Amen. It's false. So good. Amen. You know, I was praying while we were preparing and the show was about to start. And I heard that there's someone out there, a, brown, a lady with brown hair um, and gray roots. Her roots are coming in and she's dealing with insecurity and you aren't feeling pretty anymore. There's no desire to get dressed anymore. There's no desire to even get dressed up for any occasion or to go out of the house or to leave or anything like that. But the Holy Spirit spoke to me because he loves you that much. And he wants you to know that you are the apple of his eye. And he thinks that you are absolutely stunning the way you are. He yes. loves everything about you. And he just wants me to pray and to let you know that he loves you that much. And so I pray right now that wherever you are, yes, that the Holy Spirit would just overtake you, that you would feel the Spirit, the presence in your in your entire room, in your living room, wherever you are, and that it will be so tangible that you'll yes. never be the same, That's that you'll right. feel the love of God, and that you'll be forever changed in the name of Jesus right now. Amen. Yes. And then I also, um, I saw a little child, and um, this child was kind of hiding in a corner and holding his knees all the way up to his chest, yeah. like curled up in a corner. And um, this was you, someone who's watching as a child. It's not you now. This was you as a child, and God wants to bring healing to you from that hurt that happened to you when you were a little kid. And God takes what happened to you very seriously. Um, when he, when you hurt, he hurt. And he gave me this verse, Matthew 18, 6, and it says, if anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me to stumble, it would be better for them to have a large yes. millstone wrapped around their neck and be drowned in the depths mm -hmm. of the sea. God takes it seriously. And I just want to pray you through that hurt. I just pray right now in the whole, in the name of the uh, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I just pray yes. right now that all Thank that hurt, you, anything that's happened, any unknown and known, any kind of um, cellular memory, anything that has caused that hurt to just God, thank you, touch this mess person. with them their whole lives to cause them to have touch this hurt person. continue throughout their whole life right now, God, that you would find that you would shed light, that you would bring life to it, and that you would just completely remove that hurt from their body right now. We release it in the name of Jesus. We repent for allowing it to continue to hurt them. And we just pray that you would fill that area, fill that void, Father, with your love and with your life right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, when you were first talking about the person with brown hair and gray roots, I saw something very similar, and I saw a woman named Monica. Mm -hmm. And I just saw that you were broken and that you have known that all your life. Mm -hmm. That as a child you were abused and you were told you weren't wanted mm -hmm. and that you were ugly. You heard that mm -hmm. over and over that you're ugly. No. You're ugly. Nobody will ever love you. You're ugly. And I heard our Heavenly Father say, that's Monica, my daughter. Mm -hmm. And I love her and she is beautiful. Yes. She is stunning. And she's not just beautiful in appearance. She's beautiful in her heart. Mm -hmm. And that he created you fearfully and wonderfully. And he wants you to know where it says all your days are written and that you had all these chapters leading up to this point. And you were and, and recently you've been looking back over your life and you're just like, gosh, it's just been a life of hurt and wounds and brokenness. Lord, when will it ever stop? Well, it stops today. It stops today. You are starting a new chapter in your life. And I know people have spoken to your life and I know that you have pursued things to help you in the world but God says he's the one that you need to run to that if you would begin to just ask the Holy Spirit the spirit of truth to reveal the truth to you mm -hmm. that it will come and he's also the counselor and he's your advocate and that when you speak to him when you ask him to come and just open your eyes to the truth that's where your heart will open again where you can be loved again and you will feel the yeah. perfect love yeah. of Jesus Christ that will <laughs> remove the anxiety and the torment that all those years caused but also you are going to start hearing the voice of God I believe that you have and you discounted it because you kept hearing that man's voice telling you that you were ugly mm. but you're going to start hearing the truth of the father's voice telling you Monica I created you for such a time as this. I have a plan and a purpose for you, not for calamity and harm, but for good. And that the old is now passing away. That yeah. literally, because oh, you yeah. said yes to him, 
You are becoming a new creature in Christ. And today's a day for you to put on new shoes. Just like when they rode up to the house and they were trying to find Cinderella. Cinderella lived in a, in a time of shame and guilt and all their stuff. They, they used her as their scapegoat. And they told her she was ugly. And they, she'd never amount to anything. And they even tried to keep her out of the ball where she would come to know the prince. Mm -hmm. But she's the one that had the mm -hmm. feet that fit into those shoes mm -hmm. he's placing new shoes on your feet today monica yes. amen new shoes and you know the prince of peace today you know the heavenly father you know abba and all you have to do is call on his name and he is there so lord i thank you for restoring her mind that you are washing away all those repetitive words that called her ugly and told her she was never lovable and that she would never would be and that you're turning your life around and i ask that you would remove the ungodly people from her life that continue to keep that cycle alive yes. and that you bring in those that know jesus serve him well and correct and that will love her and cherish her as the beautiful woman of God that she is in Jesus name. Yes. Well, and God's Amen. really Amen. calling out Amen. names Amen. today. Yeah. And Amen. Sally, God wants you to know he mm. sees you. Yeah. You have waited your whole life to be seen. Mm -hmm. You have been mistaken and, and, and like like every everything that is in your heart cries for truth and to be seen for that truth and yet your outward beauty as I, I see you so clearly is so stunning you're like a real walking barbie i just see that blonde hair is you are so stunning and you got this perfect body you can sing you can do it all and the thing is is you want to be seen for the truth of god in your heart not for your breast or the way you look or how beautiful your hair is and god said it's brought such great rejection with with you you just and 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 what has happened it opened the door up to fear Sally and God wants you to repent of that fear again and just start being right in faith because he said I see you and I'm gonna cause others to start seeing you for who I am they're gonna look right past that and see the real heart and all of the giftings and the anointings and that way people will start taking you serious because you're very intelligent, he mm. said. You're very, very mm. smart. Matter of fact, he said, you have one of those very high, high IQs. And he said that it's 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 really been frustrating to you because you want to be known as serious. People that take you serious. But you know, God said, Sally, there's great perversion in the earth. And the devil's out there to pervert and twist truth. Not only sexually towards you and sexual innuendos and all that kind of stuff. But he's to twist and pervert any kind of truth. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, you want to bring truth. And you want to be taken seriously. And God is going to stop the perversion. You're going to be set free from this fear of not being known for who you really are mm -hmm. because that's what happens if you start operating and shrink back in rejection and fear then faith can't be in full operation you just got to be bold again make sure you are just standing don't shrink back i don't care who looks upon you in the wrong way god said sally it's your season it's your time i see you and i'm going to cause others to see you yes. the way i see you says yeah. the lord amen yes. that's so good amen Anything? Well, I, I did. I heard eyes and I saw somebody with an eye disease and mm. I just heard that the Lord said um, he healed eyes too, mm -hmm. that you're not left out. So Heavenly Father, we mm -hmm. thank you thank that yes. your word is true, that yes. by the stripes of Jesus Christ, that disease is gone. We Con believe the report healed. of the Lord that your eyes see 2020 better than ever before, that when you go back to the doctor, you will have then and you will have the new, and you will be able to tell your testimony because you overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. Eyes open now in Jesus name, in Jesus name. I thank you for it. I declare it. It is so. And Lord, I thank you that um, her testimony will be told all around and people will come to know you because of it in Jesus name there's also a man that was listening to that and I actually saw the same thing as Hallelujah. I was just ending that so Lord I thank you that his eyes see 2020 that again by the stripes of Jesus Christ his eyes um, all disease is gone the the inflammation 
that has stopped the healing is gone now in Jesus' name. And there's a leak in your eye. I see a leak. Um, blood is leaking. Fluid is leaking into your eye. So, mm. Lord, I thank you that you just patch that area where yes, there's been a God. hole and no more leaks. And that that um, unused and unwanted fluid that's blocking the eyesight just dissipates right now. We say 2020 vision in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over you. Amen. And the Amen. Lord says there's Amen. such a thing. There is such a thing as bulging eyes. And I mm. seen when she was praying for eyes, mm. I seen you you feel so bad about yourself, sir, because your eyes have always bulged mm. out and you look like one you know, one of these like uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, people that are very, very you know, you feel deformed. And mm. they I mean they bulge. Mm. And God says he's healing it today. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. when, when God has called out things in a word of um, knowledge, we have seen where people have called, people have come up to us in different yes. conferences and stuff. One lady in particular with mm -hmm. Lana, she was healed when one day we prayed for healing on the shows and yeah. she had walked up to mm -hmm. Lana in a conference at Colorado Springs. She had been healed five years. We never even knew about it and walked up to her and said she was in a wheelchair all of her life and said, you're from God's view and you prayed one day and I haven't been in my wheelchair since. Wow. And I'm telling you, God is real. Yes. And he is saying, I yes. see these bulging eyes as big as ever. And it is very hard on you. And it's painful too. It's mm -hmm. not, it's not easy to live with, but God says you're <laughs> healed today if you will believe it and if you will receive it you are yes. healed and i heard um crippled no more if mm. if you are someone who's i don't know if it's crippled through your legs it might be crippled with your hands but god says you are crippled no more mm. and so mm. i looked up some scriptures just to build your faith in matthew 15 30 to 31 it says we read great crowds came to jesus bringing him the lame the blind the crippled the mute and many others and he laid them yeah. at his feet, and God healed them all. Jesus healed them all. Yes. And so God, Jesus is no respecter of persons. What he did for one, he will do for you. But you have to receive the healing. You have to have faith that he can do it and that you're worthy of his healing. So right now, just extend your hands and say, I receive it right now in yes. the name of Jesus. I just thank you, God, that you love this we person so us. much. We are in agreement that he is crippled Hallelujah. no more Amen. in the name of Jesus right no now. More. Lord, we just speak to the bones. We speak to the body to yes. line up with the word of God right now to have your blood running through the veins right now cleansing all anything that is not of you anything that is not not out functioning or operating the way that you have designed it to operate right now in the, in the name of Jesus and yes. through your blood we command it to line up right now and yes. whatever it was test it out Use it. See if it works. And let us know. We are so excited. We're believing with you. We're in yes. agreement that Amen. you are crippled no more in Jesus' name. Thank you. Woo, Jesus. glory. Yes. Epilepsy, yes. you're healed. You're mm. healed. You know, Jesus in the Bible, it, there's accounts, I think, in uh, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Yes. Um, I, I'm, I'm trying to look up some of them right now. But it says, when they came, uh, let's do Matthew 17, because <clears> I heard epilepsy. Listen, come on. Grab onto yes. this and be healed. I know epilepsy is a demon, but God... God says it's got to go from your life now. It does. It's got to go. Amen. It can be an influence. Yes. You don't have to be possessed. You know, uh, when they came to the crowd, mm. a man came up to him, kneeling yes. before him, said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and he suffers terribly. Often he falls into the fire and often into the water because he's mm. having seizures. And I brought him to the disciples and they could not heal him. And Jesus answered, oh, faithless and twisted generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you bring him to me and Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of him and the boy was healed instantly God wants mm. to instantly heal you it, from it epilepsy yes. today mm -hmm. and we yes. command that demon of yes. epilepsy to go in yes. Jesus name no more seizures ever again you will not have to take 30 pills a day God heals you today and we are so excited to be a part of this word of knowledge for epilepsy and if it's not only one I just heard that come on you take it if you're Amen. watching you take it God did not call out a specific mm -hmm. name there's many probably that are dealing with seizures yes. and epilepsy and be free today in yes. Jesus name and that's the thing is if we say a he or a she or if we see um, a specific sex or something and you that resonates with you that that um, yes whatever we saw word of knowledge if it resonates with you you can receive that for Good you reminder. it can be for you as yes. well it doesn't have to be mm -hmm. for the person we saw because yes. 
the Holy Spirit and His Word and His prophecy. It's alive and it's active and it's flowing through us. And it may not be just for one person, it may be for several. So you can mm -hmm. receive that and accept it for yourself and watch what happens. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Anyone else? And I just heard somebody's just so desiring. Uh, to do what we're doing right now, Ooh. to prophesy, to use the gifts while they're for you. <laughs> Amen. And God really wants you to. Mm -hmm. He says desire and, and just eagerly desire and covet to prophesy and move in the gifts. And you're saying, gosh, man, they call out all these names. They're doing all this stuff because it's the words of wisdom and knowledge. We can't do anything. It's the gifts. We're just surrendering. We're just obeying. We're just submitting to what God is saying mm -hmm. and being bold to speak it out. A lot of people say, I can't say that. What if I'm wrong? No, you have to say yes. it and keep stepping out in faith. And I'll tell you, you will move in the gifts and you will be on fire and God will be using you before you know it. And like earlier, even Stephanie had said, you know, she had gotten one word in one of our shows for somebody. And you may be getting one word if you're with a bunch of people, love or safe or whatever it is. And just speak it out because somebody, I guarantee you will need that. Mm -hmm. They will. Oh, God wants to use you more than you want to be used. Okay. Mm. Hallelujah. There's somebody out there that God promises them that they're going to have children, but you haven't. I was trying to look up scriptures for you, um, but God's promised you that you're going to have children, that you're going to be a parent, but you haven't seen that child yet and you haven't seen it come to pass yet. Um, so you, you're becoming weary. And so I just want to pray strength with you and just encourage you right now. I had a dream about my daughter, El Shaddai. Her name is El Shaddai and how to spell her name and everything and what her name was. Um, and it was five years before she was born and we had saved my my daughter before her we had saved her clothes for her and it had been almost 10 years at that point and my daughter Adonai Grace was like I don't think El Shaddai is coming anymore and she was becoming weary and I was like no she's gonna come she's gonna come and we started praying and believing and speaking it and you know what five years later she came so he will do the same for you I know it and I decree and decre declare for you that your baby's coming in Jesus' name. Amen. With that said, hallelujah. I'm telling you, I just kind of get that. That was fast. I know. <laughs> I thought, oh, well, if she's going to go, she's yeah. going to have to. I, oh, no. I, I, so that was perfect. But Father God, we just thank you so much for today, everybody that you touched. Mm -hmm. And now, Lord, your biggest, your biggest miracle and what you want for everybody is to know your dear son that you sent mm -hmm. to die because you loved the world. It says, for you loved the world so much that you gave your only begotten yes. son that whosoever believes shall be saved and so I'm telling you anybody who calls on the name everybody who calls on the name of the Lord will be shall be saved it, and, and you may not say the right thing and say well I didn't say what that lady said it doesn't matter God knows your heart if you're crying mm -hmm. out and yes he does give a scripture in there that if you believe in your heart you confess with your mouth and um, you merge those two you are saved yes. but listen sometimes people can't even say it they're so broken mm -hmm. and God knows that he hears your heart he knows you mm -hmm. want him he knows you he made you he mm -hmm. created you and then you just ask him to be baptized mm -hmm. with the Holy Spirit and with fire and you'll get your heavenly language that will give you a 911 to God and I'll tell you what if you did that please call our prayer lines behind my head 307 637 pray that 7729 tell somebody tell somebody so that uh, all heaven is having a big party Amen. right now if one sinner comes to the Lord all heaven rejoices now every year they have this big birthday party up there just for you because it will be your born again birthday Amen. oh my gosh they have big parties up there for me uh -huh. <laughs> yes. and anyways all my favorite balloons and cake and all that stuff please go to uh GodsViewTVShows.com. Get some of this great God's View anointing oil, our lion on there. Also, there's some paintings there, my prophetic paintings, and uh, it would help us keep coming in your home around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's fast. God's got a view. God does have a view personally for you. Gotta go. Love you. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God.